Welcome back, everyone, to Paltos Fun Hobbies. This is Season 9, Episode 4 of A Game of Thrones board game. We are playing with the Mother of Dragons expansion. We're jumping into Turn 4. I've already placed the Dragon Strength for from Round 4 here on the board. Um, and we're calling this episode, A Lannister Always Pays His Debts. I'm kind of focusing on the Lannisters. Uh, first up on the turn, we're going to grab the uh, Lannisters. will pay one power token from their supply to get the Vanguard Cavalry. And they're gonna place three knights uh, by their supply rule. So one, uh, two, three. So Lannisters win this. We'll also have Targaryens play, um, they have, uh, when we advance this, the Faceless Man comes to the one position. Targaryens get minus one because now they hold uh, Bravos, and they will use the Faceless Man to replace one knight, one enemy knight, and they will take this enemy knight from Dragonstone. So this is the Faceless Man does a hit on Dragonstone against the Baratheons. So let, let us go ahead now and jump right into round number four. Before we do, quick shout out to this channel sponsor, Pontos Felon Press. Go check out the Esoteric Dragon Mysteries, Decoding the Dragon Symbol in Myth and Occult Traditions. We talk about George R. R. Martin. We talk about the dragon tradition, the pen dragons, Holy Grail, uh, lots of other topics. Uh, we also have a Patreon where you can stay in touch with all of our A Song of Ice and Fire miniature painting and gameplay. We're playing, we're playing Tainted Grail Fall of Avalon this season. Uh, Joan of Arc. Conan by Monolith, as among another bunch of games. So go out there and uh, check out where we are. Something for everybody. Let's jump into round number four. Uh, we'll go ahead and do our Westeros phase. So I'll turn, move these cards to the bottom. And I'll turn over our Westeros phase. And then our Essos phase as well. The Essos phase being the fourth one because we've got the Mother of Dragons. So first up in phase, we got Last Days of Summer, no action. We do have one Wilding to keep track of. Uh, then we've got A Clash of Kings, bid on the influence track. I'm just going to kind of randomize that with a sort of a die, a die roll. Uh, and we can, we can bid on that. Last, uh, next one is Web of Lies. Supply orders cannot be played during the planning phase. And then finally, um, Southern Ambitions. Targaryen player discard one power token to play a loyalty token on either the Boneway or, the, or Blackwater. So the Blackwater is here. Right, Blackwater. Or the bone way is down here. The bone way. Oh, here's black water. Yeah, why, uh, uh, well, they actually they get to put one on the Dornish marches and the sea road marches. So let's just place those loyalty ones first. And Targaryen can go do it. So the Dornish marches are down. Here's the Bone Way and the Dornish Marches. Salt Shore. The Dornish Marches. Okay, so we've got we've got those loyalty tokens, and the loyalty token maneuver is basically old Targaryen pockets of of um, Targaryen loyalty that we can track. So let's go ahead and we'll shuff, let's just shuffle up the um, the influence track. We're just going to do a shuffle of these, and we'll place them how they come up randomly. So influence track will get bid on, uh, but since we're just playing a simulated game, we'll just kind of shake these out, and then I'll just kind of place whoever comes out. So we get Baratheon, Greyjoy. That yeah, kind of worked out. So a little bit of a shuffle. 
Uh, Stark moves down a bit, Lannister moves down a bit, but no worries, we got that shuffled. And we're now able, able to play support orders. So let's jump into our orders phase. We'll start out with the Lannisters. Um, I think what we'll have them do is... Um, I, I feel like I want them to take advantage of their, their ships here. So I think I'm going to have them attack with their ships. Do a plus one for that. Uh, also going to have them do um, a plus zero. Let's have them. Let's have them move some troops forward. They only have a three army there, so you know I'll put, I'll put the plus here just in case they can move uh, these ships forward because I think we'll do a ship combat there. And then uh, for the rest of them, let's actually try to get some power tokens from here. We cannot play those, but we can play um, a defense. So we'll do the defense here, and we'll do a defense here as well. And uh, we can also put a crown here as well. Oh, do we have a token there already? No. Okay, so we've got some play for Lannisters. Our idea is we're going to continue driving against Pike and let's see what happens there. And then we'll go ahead and, and, and um, place our tokens for our other players and we'll kind of see how it comes out and just sort of simulate this uh, through. For Targaryens, I think I'm going to have them attack Dragonstone. So what I'll do is I will place an attack here. And we'll also maybe fly a dragon over to Castle Black to pick up this loyalty token, which will be a victory point for them. And we can also have these defending here. And Right, so we'll go with that. Okay. Let's have also play this raid order there. And we'll also have house, um, let's have them move back to Moat Kalen. We'll have these guys move as well. And we'll have a raid order here. And then we'll have a move order for, oh, They've already got their order. And we'll place Dorn. And we'll place Baratheon. Okay. And finally, we're going to place Greyjoy. And that should do it. All right. So let's go into reveal orders phase. And we will see how our gameplay turns out. First, we're going to play raid orders uh, in the order of... Play raid orders in the order of the influence track. And we don't have many raid orders out here. Okay, we have raid orders from Aaron, and these guys kind of cancel each other. So those raid orders come out. We also have a raid order against... Um, I guess it's not actually touching that. And it's not touching this, so this raid order is kind of not effective. So that's out. And... Uh, this raid order also is not effective, so we can pull that one out. Okay, so let's go ahead with, let's do our first attack. We're going to have um, this dragon, well actually we'll ha let's have um, House Stark 
move down to Moat Kaelin. Uh, we are going to have our Targaryen Dragon. First play is move out to here to pick up one victory token for Targaryens. And that's going to move them up one victory point to two. Uh, let's go ahead and have... Um, Targaryen can also move their attacking troops uh, by this boat to Dragonstone. Because they have a boat chain here. And they've got, let's just defend. So let's have them attacking um, here at Dragonstone with the two dragons. They get a plus one, so it's one, it's two, four, six, seven, eight uh, versus two. Baratheons have a patch face as their uh, person. And then we've got Daenerys Targaryen as a one. So that's going to push uh, this, uh, they have nowhere to go really. So if they can't retreat, I guess they can retreat to, to here, to the Ironwood, right? Something like that. And that means Baratheon has lost the Dragonstone taken by the Targaryens. So let's go ahead then, uh, next up is the, uh, next up we'll have a battle between the Lannisters, plus one versus the Greyjoys, going to be a sea battle. We will have, the Greyjoys are going to get plus one from their sword. Think about Theon Greyjoy versus the Lannisters will play. Uh, Sir, ja Sir Jamie Lannister. So that's two, three, four, five versus two, three. Uh, so this will be a sword also. So they're going to lose their ship. Uh, Greyjoy defeat. And we'll move our ships into their space. These come off. Um, Greyjoy's can launch a counter attack with their plus one here. It's zero versus two. So let's do one more attack. Uh, it's one versus two. Greyjoys get Arian Dampfer. Uh, Lannisters get Cersei Lannister, but uh, they're gonna have to retreat back to here as the defeat condition. So, okay, that's that. Uh, and then finally, let's have, well, I know it's kind of splitting the attack, but let's have the Lannisters in the Greywater Watch fight the um, Moat Kaelin Starks. Uh, Lannisters will have Sir Kevin Lannister, and Starks will have... Roos Bolton. So it's Roos Bolton and Moat Kaelin. That kind of worked out right well. So we have three, four, five, six, seven versus five, six. Uh, that's going to be a retreat for the Targaryen, for the Starks. So if we lose, uh, if we lose, return your entire house card discard pile into your land. Okay, so even though the Targaryens lost with this card, all of their discarded cards get to be sent back to the Starks. So we'll take that into consideration. Uh, and I think that's about going to do it for this round. We'll see you all in round number five. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.